Hello, hello. Let me do my wrap up of the club. Um, all about uh, the gentleman's club, kind of literary literary club that uh, Johnson um, and Bob, just Samuel Johnson and, and um, Joshua Reynolds, the portrait painter, started in 1760 something. I guess I should get that right for the thing. And really, it is it is a portrait of Samuel Johnson, the great dictionary maker, essayist, critic. Um, his, you know, his, his his final masterpiece being the lives of, po of the poets, where he does little biographies and little kind of pithy, it seems like pithy kind of critical summations of, of people's work, including uh Milton and Dryden and Pope being the big ones that he 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 he, he praises apparently um and uh yeah it's so it's all about him and his biographer or the man who had become his biographer um James Boswell Scottish um syphilitic uh living wineskin uh diarist um racist um 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 horny 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 probably manic manic depressive um yeah yeah um it's a portrait of them their relationship but um it's kind of made fuller or it's 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 a group portrait with them at the center of the portrait and them getting like the most time but um also the the people the other members of the club and the shadow club which um um leo um leo damrosk um fills out with uh the women the women in samuel johnson's life uh because the women in samuel johnson's life are women that he actually had you know relationships with and you know were were Got, get to have agency and stuff like that whereas the women in um james boswell's life were all basically um sex workers and a long-suffering wife um so <laughs> there's that um so uh and you know you can tell that this is how the book is because the book ends we have samuel johnson dies we have boswell dies boswell dies and then the rest is epilogue where um Damarosk just sort of ties up you know what happened what happened to all the 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 other members of the club and then finally what happened to the club itself which it seems to have become more of a thing for politicians and peers versus um someone as you know as who is relatively low class and not a politician like Samuel <sighs> Samuel Johnson himself Come on, Theo. Go on. So it's just not, not, not a, a outing here without, without little ha Havanese barking his head off. Hello, little Havanese. Hello. Yes. Um. Yeah. So, um. I really enjoyed it as this kind of a group portrait. Um, it was a nice way of getting into someone's life because oftentimes in a biography, you know, you're all about the one, the central figure, and you're, you're kind of grimly working through all the, uh, all the stories, everything, everything to be heard. Um, and this is very much more um, something where we're getting, we're getting the good stuff about the interesting stuff about Johnson and about Boswell, but we're also getting kind of full portraits of the people around them and sort of the world, um, you know, uh, them on, uh, you know, art, them on politics, them on um, um, literature. I mean, you know, that's a big thing, but, you know, the plays of, uh, you know, Garrick, uh, the uh, great, great actor, producer, um, of, of the era who seems to have been kind of uh, partially responsible for the elevation of Shakespeare into into his godhood state. Um, 
Yeah, yeah. So it, it, I, I really enjoyed it because it did give a fuller portrait of the era, um, as well as a full portrait of uh, Johnson and Boswell. I think if I had quibbles about it, I would find that sometimes when the when Damarosk went into psychology with the guys, with 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 um, especially Boswell, because there's so much material with Boswell of his diaries, it felt a little bit, you know, we were getting into kind of Freudian or, or various other kind of theories of personality, which is eh, less, less compelling, more, I feel like, okay, this is the author making their best shot of interpretations of why are these guys as fucked up as they are? Um, both, both, I mean, in some ways it's very, you know, you, uh, with both of them, uh, um, um, Samuel Johnson was definitely somebody who was a depressive, who, you know, he, he worked very periodically, but in those periods he did amazing works like, uh, the, like, like, like the dictionary, the first dictionary in the major dictionary in the English language, the one where they had, you know, quotes, um, the kind of the idea that kind of, uh, the big, the big Oxford, uh, dictionary would then take up of, you know, using citations of, of quotations from literature to kind of illustrate a, uh, illustrate a word, stuff like that, like massive undertakings that way, or, um, his collected work of Shakespeare or his, you know, with, commentary in them or yes the life lives of poets or his essays on the rambler you know all stuff that wow you know obviously if you could only do one of those things or a quarter of something of like that you would probably be considered a great person and johnson did all that laboring under what seems to have been serious serious depression and serious serious demons of his own um you know uh, and Boswell, Boswell, you know, for all his many, many failings, was a master at capturing um, storytelling of of being a biographer who actually recorded, um, you know, conversations and recorded how the conversations were delivered, intonation, kind of the kind of voice. I've read Boswell's uh, The Life of Johnson. And yeah, wow, those parts where he is like they're they're in conversation with each other, uh, and with with the friends, uh, is is really rewarding. And indeed, you know, I think this book uh, would be kind of is is would would reward a reread of the life of Johnson, even though I found uh, some parts of the life of Johnson incredibly tedious. Um, and who knows, you know, even picking up uh, some of Boswell's uh, journals, you know, his London journal or something like that might be, might be interesting. But God, he's such a little fuckhead. He's such a fuckhead, uh, Boswell. <laughs> I didn't, did not come off of this book having an immense amount of respect for him. He was a deeply, deeply flawed, deeply flawed guy. Um, much more respect for someone like Samuel Johnson. Uh, yeah, yeah, of, of, the, of, of them. It's like, holy crap. All right, I will leave it there. More videos later.